All right, we're going to show you how to make some big prints. And when I talk about big prints, we're usually talking about 16 by 20s and larger. Uh, for regular workflow, we use a crop tool for making 8 by 10s, 5 by 7s, even 11 by 14s. But for making larger prints, let's say from relatively smaller files, uh, there's a few techniques that you can learn. I'm going to show you them right now. We're going to go to image, image size. And here's the, uh, this is the raw file, the native pixels right off the camera and it comes off at 14.293 times 9.493 at 300 pixels per inch. Now here's, um, here's a way to upsize without even, without even recreating new pixels, without cheating for lack of a better way of saying it, uh, and that is by reducing the resolution. Now you want to be able to reduce your resolution according to your final output. Most labs will ask for 250, some will ask for 300, my lab asks for 250, I give them 200. I've done tests there I think as a safeguard asking for 250 when really they only need 200. So the first thing I'm going to do then is go to my resolution and knock it down to 200. Now I'm going to click off resample and look at what I've done. I've immediately upsized my image to 21 inches, 21.44 and it's the exact same pixels that I'm working with now. Uh, again, uh, my lab is using a very uh, very good printer. It's a Lambda printer. It's a laser printer. It's very, very sharp. It renders detail with extreme accuracy. So they say they want 250, but hey, I give them 200, it works. Nobody complains, and I get larger prints without uh, uh, worrying about it too, too much. Now, if you're working with uh, a printer, you know, an inkjet printer of sorts, you can even go as low as, and I've tried this, as low as 125, but let's say 150 for the sake of argument. So right away we've got a 28 inch print if we knock our resolution to, down to 150. You see where the width went up to 28. Okay, but for the sake of argument, let's assume we're going to be going to the lab. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go to a 21 inch print and I have not changed the pixels at all. So here's what I've got. There's the image size. Now let's say I wanted to get it up to a 40 inch. There's a way of doing that without literally any degradation whatsoever of the image. And you do that by doing this. Go to image size and we're going to go to percent. 110 percent. So we're going, you got to click on resample by the way. We're going to keep that at 200, 110 percent so we're going incrementally in degrees of 10 percent. So I'm going to click OK and what I've done there is I've increased it 10 percent from whoops sorry wrong one image size 21.44 to 23.585 so I've increased it by about an inch or so an inch and a half two inches. Uh, I keep doing that in percentages. I keep doing that until I get it up to the size that I want. Now an easier way of course is to create an action. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to create an action. New action. We're going to call it up size 10 percent. I'm going to hit record and I'm just going to basically run the steps I just showed you. Image size percent 110 percent. Make sure resample is clicked on. Resample means it's uh, creating new pixels so it essentially is cheating but we've tried this technique and I've blown up prints as large as 50 inches and there's very very little if any noticeable degradation. So there's my action and I'm going to click stop and I've got it right there. I'm going to go to button mode right here and I'm going to go find that action I just created. There it is right here. So every time you hit that it's going to upsize it 10%. And I keep doing that until it gets up to the size I want it to be. It gets slower as you get bigger because we're creating a much bigger file with a lot more data. And uh, I should at this time mention that you can go to image, image size, and jump it right up to from the, what was it, 21 point something. You can go from here, say for example, and jump it right up to say 50 inches. You can try that, but there is a noticeable degradation of the image when you do that. I don't know why it works this way, but it's an amazing uh, technique, and you can get 
absolutely amazingly sharp images by doing this to any size you want. And again, it gets very, very slow because it's uh, working with a fairly big file size now. It's uh, probably going to get upwards to over 100 megabytes if we get this image up to 40, 50 inches. So. And I just want to show you one final step. Let's just assume that that's the size we're going to go with. Okay, let's just say we're going to go with 37.9. Let's assume that's what we're happy with. So we go to print size, filter. We're going to do the sharpening. Always do the sharpening after you've sized it up. So it's part of your workflow. When you do all the rest of your workflow, save sharpening and adding noise to the very end. And make sure you go to print size So and go to 100% right here you'll notice 100 percent pick an area where you can see the detail and this is our usual sharpening which is kind of a crazy way of doing it but it works really really well and you'll never read about this in a book or in any college course or anything like that so put your radius down to point one highlight it and with your up arrow on your keyboard bring it up and wait for it, the image to pop and I think it popped right there Pop that four, yeah, okay. See it before and after. You know what, I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh yeah, that's even better. So we sharpen it after we've sized it up and it just brings that much, little bit more of a just snappiness to the image and uh, it creates just that much more of a sharper looking image. So again, that's these are techniques that are I don't know, they're just kind of breaking the rules, but they, they work. So we're going to add noise. That's our last step. And again, this is part of our regular workflow. And if it's a uh, larger print, I might go 1.5. Uh, that's a little bit too much. Let's go 1.1. That's better. Very subtle effect. So that's how you do it. That's how you size them up. That's how you get great big gigormous print sizes without any degradation of the image so try it see for yourself it works absolutely amazingly well hope you enjoyed this